Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Wonderfox. This is DVD Ripper Pro, and you can check it out at their website. You'll have that link in the description below here. And this is uh, a program by Wonderfox. Uh, they've got several other ones as well. We're just going to be looking at DVD Ripper Pro today. Uh, this is a program that will allow you to rip your old DVD media into a digital format and they give you a ton of different formats to rip this into uh, going from uh, H.264, H.265 and before uh, to a ton of other programs this is going to help you um, strip out region codes if you have uh, other region DVDs that you may uh, need to uh, rip to digital format as well. Now this is really cool uh, for even just making a backup of your existing DVD disc uh, in case it gets scratched or something like that and you want to have a backup of it in a digital format or just to change this over so that you can use this uh, to actually uh, rip a DVD uh, to a different format for a different device. And I'll show you that in a second. It's going to take a, a 7.5 gigabyte DVD and it'll pretty much knock it down to 1.1 or 1.2 gigabytes uh, without any loss of quality. Uh, so very cool. A shout out to uh, Wonderfox for sending this program over to me. It's a very lightweight program, only about 22 megabytes, uh, and you can buy it a lifetime uh, one PC uh, license for $29. Not a bad deal if you have a ton of DVDs that you need to back up. So let's launch the program here, get this all set up so that you guys can see exactly uh, what the program looks like itself. This is the main uh, section here, and if we uh, take a look at uh, some of the things on the top, you can check for uh, revisions if there's new uh, software versions. I am running the newest one. You've got some options there uh, and some uh, help as well as about uh, this is a version 11 I believe if we go and check this yes this is DVD Ripper Pro a version 11 uh, and you can check out uh, some of the tutorials it takes you step by step on how to rip your first DVD into a digital format uh, we're going to be going over that today a little bit uh, but they have some extra help and contact in there if you do need it another thing you do is check some of the uh, settings here and these are batch conversion settings like if you did need to do multiples at a time you can do up to 10 unless you're doing h.265 h.264 uh, then you can only do up to two at a time uh, not a, a big deal uh, but something to note if you're going to be doing a ton of uh, you know batch conversions uh, they've got all of this set up here uh, another thing you can do is tell it to shut your computer down when it's done or say you're going to go to bed or something like that and you want to actually get them done you can you, here you can change your cpu cores the number of CPU cores the priority uh, and you can use GPU acceleration which will uh, greatly enhance the speed of this uh, they've got it for AMD they've got it for Nvidia and for Intel as well uh, so they've got a lot of different uh, settings that you can use here uh, those are just the basic ones they can set up now let's take a look uh, at the bottom your output folder here is just going to be my uh, desktop and you're going to have profiles and there are a ton of different profiles that you can use and they've got them all spec'd out for different manufacturers as well say you needed something for a chromecast uh you can do that uh your nvidia shield uh pixel uh, your uh, Nexus line of phones, they're already ready and here for you. So if you know that you have like a Pixel or a Pixel XL, you can just select that and it'll automatically do the video uh, the best uh, for that certain device or say Chromecast or something like that. So we've got ours on Chromecast. If you happen to have a Chromecast, uh, once we populate the DVD or load the DVD up, you'll be able to change a lot of these settings or just leave them on auto fit, which is what I usually do. It works very well. It's fast and it's easy. Uh, you've got other things for the web. They've got everything from uh, you know Facebook, uh, Vimeo, uh, you, uh, Yahoo, YouTube. Uh, they've got all kinds of presets here that are going to be friendly with those particular services. One-to-one -one copies. Uh, you can also make uh, ISOs uh, or the folder itself. 
And these are just very, very simple 4K or HD video presets as well. So if you're looking to do uh, some uh, 4K or HD presets, you've got that there. And then you can actually do your custom ones. I set one up for a 720 DVD conversion here. Uh, I've got that all set up in here, uh, but it, you can just knock it out. It's not a big deal. So what we're going to see here is that you've got a ton of different setups for Sony, for the PS4, the PS3, and a ton of other things as well as Apple with the iPhone X, the iPhone 8, or the iPhone 8 Plus. They're going to make these uh, the closest that they can possibly come to. They've got TV setups for uh, Vizio and uh, you know Toshiba and TCL and all the uh, TV makers as well. Uh, so if they'll read like a USB drive, you can just put it on a USB drive. Microsoft, of course, you're going to have your Xbox One, your Surface uh, Pro lines, uh, you know, Windows 10 tablets, and everything in between. They even have settings for older things like the Wii and the uh, Zoom and a, a lot of old things too as well. So they did a really good job on giving you a lot of versatility on what you can actually do with this. Now, we're just going to go uh, MP4 at this point. I just want a, a generic MP4 file that is going to uh, work for me. You've got to uh, load your DVD disc up here. I have the movie Galaxy Quest in here. It's a very funny movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It stars Tim Allen, and it's super funny. Uh, it'll load up all this information, and this information doesn't take that long to load, uh, you know, maybe uh, 10 or 15 seconds here uh, to kind of get all your titles in, and it does a very good job. It finds all the titles. These are from, like, uh, you know, um, anything from... Uh, you know, special uh, disc features to the main movie itself. Now, it automatically found the main movie and put a check mark next to it. It's an hour and 42 minutes. It's at 720 by 480, which is that DVD quality of 480p. Uh, and it's a 7.7 .7 gigabyte uh, file, and it's estimating that it's going to be 1.1 gigabytes at the same resolution, if we leave it at the same resolution. Uh, you can add, uh, you know... Uh, change up or downgrade the audio and you can also add subtitles as well with the two uh, drop boxes right below it uh, but we're all selected and we're ready to go I'm just going to leave it the way it is uh, and do a fast copy on this you can edit it and you can add effects to this as well if you want to uh, if you want to add some effects to maybe enhance it uh, lighten it darken it or maybe even go black and white on it you can totally do that with this which is an extra bonus uh, if you want to do something like that you can uh, you don't have to, obviously, but you can get pretty creative with some home videos or other things that you might have on DVD disc uh, that you might want to convert when you're doing it. So we're all set. Uh, again, now that we have it loaded up, you can see that all of these things are populated here, and a lot of them are on Smart Fit, which is great. Uh, you know, obviously, if I wanted to change it to H.265 uh, uh, or 264, I could there. I could do a uh, different resolution if I want to, all the way up to 1900 by 1200. Uh, there's a bunch of different things that you can set your audio settings as well, and several other things you can change all of the bit rates and everything, but I usually leave mine on Smart Fit and it does a great job. Uh, my output is ready here, so I'm gonna run this. And as this is running, you're going to see a, a nice little uh, meter in the middle here giving you a percentage. And at the bottom right-hand corner, you're gonna see uh, how long it estimates that it's gonna take to copy this DVD. Now, depending on your system and the DVD drive that you're using connected to your system, this uh, could take anywhere from, you know, say 12 minutes to uh, 20 or 22 minutes. Uh, this particular DVD, I'm not going to make you watch this whole thing of the conversion, uh, only took me about 14 minutes to do, uh, which isn't bad for uh, basically a one-to-one -one copy. Uh, and uh, we're going to fast forward through this and I'll show you guys some clips of what we've got. Okay, so once you're done with the program or it's done with the conversion, you're going to get a box here uh, that'll ask you if you want to open the destination folder. Uh, it took about 14 and a half minutes for me to do the whole entire DVD. Uh, I've kind of got a slower one here. I left it on the middle uh, preset here. You can slide it over uh, to do a higher quality, but it will take longer. Or you can slide it over to the right and do a uh, faster conversion, but at lower quality. And I left it at the middle quality, so you guys can get an idea of what the middle quality looked like uh, once we were done here. Uh, so again, 
pretty much a straight copy of this DVD uh, and we are all set and done. Uh, so we're going to click this, uh, get this done. It's already on my desktop so I don't have to worry about opening the destination folder. If you do it to a different one it'll conveniently take you there. Uh, but here is uh, the uh, Galaxy Quest movie uh, all ready to go here. It is a 1.17 gigabyte file uh, in mp4 format so it did a pretty good job there and as you can see uh, it's a good quality I don't have any problems with the quality on this uh, you can see I can scrub through this uh, even in, when you make it a little bit larger and I've got a 32 inch monitor so it's gonna you know uh, stretch it out a little bit here uh, but you can see that it's got good colors it's got um, not really any blocking around it or anything like that so it did a really good conversion of this particular DVD to digital format now that I have it in digital format I can do several different things with it I can store it on a hard drive for a backup I can move it to a tablet or a phone uh, to watch on the go I can do all of the those things now that I have it in digital uh, and in case my disk gets scratched or something like that I have it backed up in digital I can import it into Plex. I can do a, a million different things with this uh, now that it's in digital. So it did a great job uh, at uh, basically copying one-to-one -one without losing any quality here. Um, I, I think that uh, Wonderfox did a really good job with the DVD Ripper Pro. At $29, if you have a ton of different DVDs that you need to back up and get on digital format, then this might be the program for you. I'm definitely giving it two thumbs up. For 29 bucks, I've got probably 100 DVDs that have not come to digital yet that I would like to get over to a digital format, so that's what I'll be doing. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about this program, leave them in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, because that always helps me out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.